Tuned in to Bradford. This is BCB 106.6. Hi, my name is Heather and welcome to Movie Madness. Today we have two guests again, Mohsin and Finn. Hello. Hi guys. So uh, I want to start off by talking about uh, yesterday's trailer. Marvel released an Avengers Endgame trailer after, I think the last time they, re- they released a Super Bowl trailer like a month ago. Yeah. But before that the trailer came out like in December so it's been a long time compared to different movies. Mm. They're keeping everything like really under wraps though, really. There's only a month left for the movie to come out. Did yeah, you, do you like watch the trailer? Yeah, I saw the trailer about two hours after it came out yesterday. Yeah, you've watched it before me, I think. Yeah, which is a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of it? Uh, it's. I think a lot of it we've seen in the trailer, in like in the previous trailers. Yeah, yeah the sh- the, but there was like also like the white suits and everything that came afterwards. Oh yeah, the, yeah, there was the stuff with the suits and like some other characters, but like the a lot of the trailer was just sort of a rehash of the other trailers. I found. I don't know. What was your opinion? I know. It's, I don't think. I, I think the complete opposite of what you think. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think because they've shown all like different new footage, mm. and um, another thing, the first trailer was narrated by Thanos, and Thanos was completely absent from this new trailer. Didn't you show him? And it was focusing more on like the Earth-based characters, where yeah. the first one was focusing more on space. So yeah. So you didn't watch the trailer? No, did you? I haven't watched the trailer. <laughs> but so Not Thanos a- is also in the poster that they've put out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. The, they reached the poster at the same time after the trailer. Yeah. You see the geezer with the lines in his goatee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. The purple one. Yeah. Have you watched any? What was the last mo- movie? The you watched? first. The I've only ever watched the first one. Which one? I don't know what it's called. So, it seems like you're very out of the loop on this topic. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> the biggest fan of Marvel or anything. I don't really watch superhero movies. Though. So, what is your take on people's like when people react to like watching the new trailer when they come out? I don't know. Obviously, for me, because I'm not the biggest fan, yeah. I don't really understand the hype and stuff, but. Obviously, I can put myself in different people's shoes. Like, I remember when you sent me the the show that's gonna come out on Netflix that echoes the Goodfellas thing. Oh the yeah, trailer yeah. to that, and I obviously the way I w- I'm hyped over about that, I'm obviously not gonna be the same about this. So I can that was a a movie though. It's not, it's not a show. Oh, so it's not a show. Okay, it's a movie. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, there was that. Like Finn, tell you like when he showed me. Were you there when he showed me the trailer? Yeah, yeah I was. I was. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you're still in a hype, I wasn't it? <laughs> that's how like the. Was that you were reminding like it every five seconds? <laughs> Uh, stopping and starting it. Yeah. So yeah, but we were yesterday. We were even talking about the old trailer that came out in it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And for the people that don't know what that's about, we don't even don't know what it's about properly. So do I we? mean we have some sort of idea. We have an idea. It's a horror movie about yeah. doppelgangers. Yeah. Which are people that, that are clones like. and stuff that look exactly like you and stuff. Which I actually quite. That's what's intrigued me the most. Obviously, not just the fact that they have people that it's a horror movie. Mm. And it's, it's like they're portraying a different type of message because it's like you're in it like i don't know demons that you might want to call it that look like you and they're coming to haunt you and stuff so it's yeah, it yeah, kind of it cool looks really creepy did you watch yeah. get out get I, out i've watched it quite a while ago that's why i did see when i was telling you yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah. quite familiar with how the, the the angle keeps switching back and forth and i quite like that because it suits the fast pace doesn't it yeah, yeah it does film. like we, we were trying to replicate that in our short film as well remember that's the first attempt when i was doing the running bit and then do you remember that was your yeah, run, yeah, yeah. before we did it we trying to copy with you yeah yeah, yeah. So we were inspired, inspired by that movie. You, yeah. did you have you seen it? I haven't seen it, but I've seen some clips from it, mm-hmm. like the famous running to the up towards the camera and then to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was really good because it was he was a breakout. That was his first movie he made, and he was he's usually in Key and Peele. You don't know what Key and Peele is? Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the guy. The, the they did the ones one. that make the skits and stuff. And yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, fat one. He's the director. Is he? Yeah, he made it. What's his name? Jordan Peele. Is he the short one? The one that plays Mike Tyson and. Yeah, yeah, the one with the short hair. I quite like him. He's a funny one out of the two for me. Yeah, mm. yeah. What He's did you two find interesting about the... What is it called? Us? Yeah, it's called Us. I I really like the concept of it, the whole clone, you know, the whole clone doppelganger. Thing. Yeah. Because I, I haven't really seen much of that concept. Oh, no, definitely. Really. I haven't it's, at least. No. The same, even with Gao, like, nobody's seen that before, what he did. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was showing, like, he, he said, this is how it feels like to be a black person. When he went into like the party scene and there's all just like white people there. Yeah. Mm. But it's crazy. Like the whole plot just. It seems like such a normal thing from the mm. beginning, but the whole plot exaggerates, and the whole time you think this could probably happen. Like even though how crazy it goes, and I think that's, I think that's how he's gonna what he's gonna do with us. Like he's gonna be like really crazy, but I feel like he's still gonna be. Grounded. I mean, he's done a really good job. Well, they've done a really good job as a team for the trailer. Like from yeah. even just just the name, it's only two letters, us, but. 
it's quite it definitely does define what's actually going on in the yeah. movie and it's it like does vague and intriguing embody, yeah it does embody the uh, concept of the film which I quite like so I can't wait for that to come out <laughs> and go watch it for sure do you have any final thoughts on that trailer? no aside from uh I felt like they took a page out of our book. Remember when we were doing the cloning thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. I quite <laughs> like the idea because I was banging on about that for a while. So, yeah. So now that we've t- talked about the trailers, we'll go on to our next segment after we play Drake's The Motion. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're going to play that now. Enjoy. And we're back. So, yeah. Did you like enjoy that song? Yeah, I really enjoyed that song. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> That's one of my favourite Drake songs. Yeah, never heard that song before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was my suggestion, by the way. But okay. So, recently, there was a documentary released by HBO yeah. that's been very controversial in the past few weeks that's mm-hmm. caused a lot of discussions. And I feel like it's time that we should like put our input into it. Yeah. Mm. At least our thoughts and opinions. So, so first thing first, huge. are we all Michael Jackson fans here? Okay, wait, before we get into it, <laughs> what's the criteria of a fan? That's what I want to... That's what I want to know. Would you... Do you like him as a person? That's something separate, I'd say. Mm. Is that separate from fun? Do you enjoy his music? What does that make me fun? What's the criteria? What are we hear? Uh, do you have his albums on your phone? <laughs> do I support his music? Do I listen to his music regularly? Is that what we're... So, so like, pre-leaving Neverland, right. yeah. how did you view Michael Jackson? Like, before he I mean, just, before came out... I'm well, just talking about fun of his music. music. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, okay, Heather, are you? Yeah, I was before I watched it. Oh, okay. That's mm. big was. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of him or his music. I appreciated his music. It was good, yeah. but I didn't really listen to him. I mean, I can, I can, I think, echoing from what mm. you're saying, I was just a fan of certain songs. That so you appreciated, like... Hobby. Yeah, his art. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was, I, an, it was an incredible artist. I mean, as well as an entertainer. Yeah, well, yeah. But I didn't listen to him. Yeah. He was, like, the first, like, type of music that was, like, actual music I listened to was him. I remember. Mm-hmm. Like, he, I've been listening to him for, like, ever. And, like, every time I listen to a song, it doesn't feel like, oh, it's an old song. Yeah. You know, some songs mm. you listen to after a bit, and it's like, that's, like, 2015. I mean, it's similar to a lot of things, isn't it? It's just, it just brings back a lot of memories for certain people, yeah. right? Yeah, and I loved his songs. And I feel like this is what this is why this documentary had a huge impact on me. Because after I watched it, I remember I was going to college, and I had, like, the This Is It album on my phone. And I was, I was like, can I, s-? I clicked on Billie Jean, and I couldn't even go through, like, the first 15 seconds of it. I just paused it. Because I was just thinking, what am I listening to? Like, who is he? I don't even know him anymore. So, is it... Is it Okay, so that's actually quite an interesting thing it leads on to. Um, do you guys have issue with separating art from the artist as a person? I feel like I do. I didn't know right. before, though, mm. but from this experience, I think I do. Right. Why is that, though? Why would you... Because people, when they make art, they make art from their own experiences. Right. And I feel like if this is from his experiences, I can't listen to this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Finn, how about yourself? Um, because I was never really a huge fan, yeah. I didn't identify with his music at all, so I didn't feel, like, connected to it. Yeah. And But after all this came out, like, I was always a bit weir- like wary of him. I never yeah. thought he was, like, a good character. I mean, they're not the most... Casual character you find, is it? With kids yeah. sleeping in there your room and all that stuff. There was rumours around him from the big I day mean, rumours that were actually... Yeah. Some facts, actually, some he's actually admitted to himself. But uh, Well, no, yeah, there's things he's admitted on, like, interviews. Yeah. yeah. On how he would sleep with children, in the sense of sleeping in the same bed with them. Yeah. You know, he admitted to that. And for me, anyone, you know, doing that, that isn't a parent. It's creepy for that, me. Especially at that yeah. age. Especially at that age. He was what? 40? 36, wasn't he? 36. Something 40. around that area. And they were about 8, 9. Going, it's, I don't know, from no, 7 it, to... Yeah, it's just... And someone was saying... That's definitely wrong. He would stop talking to him after he hit like 15. I mean, mm. I mean, I would... Not to backtrack too much, but... Um, I I can't... I'm, I'm on the same boat as Heather, I think. <laughs> where I can't separate the art from the art. It's because I'm such a personal person as yeah. well yeah. that I, I identify with certain, you know, as you said, with certain lyrics and that co- correlate with me and what I've been through and how my mind state and where my mind state is currently at. Like, I listen to um, J. Cole yeah. for a lot of wisdom and, you know, just the, the know-how. Uh, mm. Like, if I want to get a little bit ignorant, I listen to the, you know, the, the little pumps of the world or... <laughs> Or I'd yeah. go back, or if I want to get actually back into my zone, I listen to more. What do they call them? Conscious rappers. Yeah. So yeah, um, not to backtrack too much, but um, what, touching on what you said, Finn, it is kind of 
I mean, not odd. Odd's an understatement. To have kids, you're sleeping with kids that aren't yours, you know, biologically mm. in the same room as you. If I mean, your mate came up to him and said that he was doing that, what would you say to him? Oh, it wouldn't oh, be my mate. It wouldn't be my mate after no. that, to be honest. <laughs> if I didn't know that uh, prior to what he's gonna tell me, he won't be. My, he won't be my friend afterwards. But yeah, mm. yeah, it's just it's disgusting, man, because. His character, he was like an inspirational guy. You'd look at him and you he looked like so pure in his interviews, like he would never swear. I mean, but just what? to correct you on that. Yeah. We don't know. No. There's no, not enough evidence. We don't evidence. know he's pure real. I mean, like, you know what we saw of him. Yeah, of what he came across. He came across as pure. As, as pure. As, I mean, as, a, as a child. Yeah. As he really was inside. Like, my whole view on him was he was a child on the inside. That doesn't make what he did right. Mm-hmm. It, it's still wrong, but... You know, on the inside, he was a child mentally. I mean, he used to always put up the, uh, the 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 saying. I think it was one of the apostles. I'm not sure where he he'd bring it up and say, "Oh, Jesus said or something." Not to don't quote me in this word for word. It's not gospel <laughs> truth, but where he, he'd relate it to religion and say, "You know, be like kids, be pure." Yeah. I mean, it was kind of there was one interview. I can't remember when it was, but it looked kind of. I think it was '93. And mm. he just looked really giddy about the whole subject. And the the subject matter, and the subject matter was obviously, do you know these kids? Yeah. Do you know? You know. Was this the one with Wade? I think no, no, no. Wade is the new geezer, isn't he? Yeah, he's was the, the one, one that's coming out, out about the now. Top hat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And he's just there, giddy, and he's just like, and I'm like, oh, that's a bit creepy because if somebody, I mean, if somebody came up to me. I said, oh, do you know Finn Sedgwick as a little five-year-old? And I'd be like, oh, what? what? <laughs> yeah. what do I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, I don't associate with anybody. Well, you know. Exactly. But I think we're going off on a bit of a tangent. Going back to the actual part of it, um, do you, how much of an influence do you think this has? Because I think we were on about this yeah, before, good. where it was on the bus where they're having the MJ ca- uh, campaign in London and yeah. stuff. Yeah, they've got... So it, the... The MJ Innocent campaign yeah. was basically crowdfunded. Right. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. That's quite. I think it was about twenty grand yeah. was crowdfunded to okay. basically plaster buses in London of like it, MJ basically innocent. yeah claiming he's innocent. Which I could see where they're coming from though. Like, do you remember when you watched it before me and I was still arguing with you? Yeah. Mm. I that's what I could see. Like, there's there was no evidence they found, and. Um, Everything, obviously, if there's no evidence they found, they're like obviously innocent until proven guilty. In it, I mean, to be fair with you, there's not much evidence For that's anything. being displayed, even in the new one in Leaving Neverland, does no. there? It's just accusation. That's that's why that innocent whole campaign came out. But what clicked for me in my head was like, there's no that's all like you know, when you were saying it to me, all in my head was like, the FBI didn't find anything, so who are these lot like mm. the FBI looking in his house for 10 years didn't find no. But then, um, I was watching Louis Thiru, he did a a documentary with Jimmy Savile yeah. and it's the one you were telling me to watch Finn and yeah. he is looking back at his documentary that he made with him after he died and all his accusation came out after he died nobody said yeah. that when yeah, he yeah, yeah. Mm. and he was saying in that documentary police came to my house and they found zilch they found no like so you could blend those pictures with him with like Prince Charles and stuff like this like if he's like got a high power he could clear his name easily in it easily yeah I mean yeah. money talks doesn't it that's what power is. Why, why else would you need power? Yeah, and when it comes to MJ being like the biggest... Oh, yeah. Th- I mean, the, the king of bigger pop, than, the biggest star in the he's world. He's the king of entertainment, I'd say. I he mean, was bigger than Jimmy Savile. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. You could go to like, Africa and say, who's Michael Jackson? I mean, you could just put him in a can and throw him at the other side <laughs> of the world and there'll be someone like, oh, MJ's here. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't really do that with everyone, can you? I mean, if you comp- compare it to, especially, like, you know, back in them times when he was, when he was popping and stuff, yeah. mm. there's no social media. Whether it's now, there's Drake, and you know, Drake's probably the biggest artist in mainstream. I don't know if that's what you guys think. Yeah. But that guy, one thing he puts out millions of likes on Instagram. But yeah. MJ didn't have that. And that's what makes him more impressive. And, you know, I think he not only with he built a cult with his childlike mentality and his, his, his uh, depiction of himself that these people have actually, I mean, crowdfund, crowdfunded, you know, yeah. uh, campaigns and foundations. It just shows how much of a big impact he's had. And I think his influence has. Sean, at least between us three, where you can't even stomach his music anymore. Yeah, I can't. Um, literally, I try. I might be able to later on, but I don't like at the moment. Like as it's fresh in my mind. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, we we are halfway through the show now, and I uh, just want to say for anybody who's tuning in, we're we're broadcasting live from. We're not broadcasting live. What we're we doing? We're 
We're recording at BCB 106.6 yeah. FM. Shout out to BCB. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're doing Movie Madness and I'm Heather with Mohsen and Finn. So yeah, that's for anybody who's tuning in. Yeah. And we're discussing leaving Neverland. Yeah. So yeah, it was disgusting. Like, I can't even... I mean, the details that were in there were disgusting. It was incredibly really... graphic. Oh yeah, it was gross. It was like... Ugh. If I anyone mean, wanting to go watch it, yeah. do I, take that in mind. It's, yeah, yeah, I mean, especially the rumming of the palm stuff. That just made yeah, me... Yeah, I couldn't take it. No. I, I, after about... Five minutes, I was like, no, nope, I'm done. I felt so uncomfortable watching it. Like That's I, me done like, for the day. I would just sat back in my chair, just like, no, that's... I mean, what makes it worse, Finn, is that he's actually depicted and portrayed as this... He's a megastar. There's there's no two ways. Mm, yeah. But uh, with megastar comes power, and the way he depicted himself to be this big child, you know, just, just be this, you know, a child in a, in a, in a, in a adult's body. Yeah. I mean, that's just what makes it worse, that, you know, his depiction was clean. Innocent, pure. I think yesterday you but were saying that he's definitely mentally ill. Was oh, yeah, saying? I think he's unstable. I mean, I can't say anything officially. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, obviously. But he, he, <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm just going to put my PhD on my back. <laughs> but, he, yeah. I can't see how you can do that and be mentally sane. In, you know, my, in my opinion. I'm kind of a kind of crude character. Yeah, I yeah. think there's something wrong with him, personally. I mean, <laughs> If he came up to you in person and he said to you, you, let's put it in today's topic in half, as okay. somebody was saying yeah, this exactly. like, if Jackie Chan yeah. came to your house here he's, <laughs> and he said and you, you, you were like he was like yeah I want to meet you and like, let's go have coffee and stuff yeah, and you were like hi guys and then, <laughs> and then later on like you, you're just chilling with him like you went on movies and stuff you came home and then Jackie Chan was like yeah 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 um, just um, like I want to sleep with your kid and you sleep in the other room would you let Jackie Chan sleep with your kid <laughs> <laughs> no way no like Jackie Chan somebody who I, I feel like he's similar status everybody knows who he is no, I mean I, you can't put them in the same universe. I think I don't think there's anyone you can compare like in terms in of popularity. I mean the influence he had. I'd, I'd say the closest, by said speaking, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, mm. I'd say the closest. But even if I, he said it, but Mike exactly, is different. Mike was. It's a whole different ballgame. It's a whole different ballgame with that character. But even if Muhammad Ali came and you were chilling with him, and then later on he was like, "Yeah, I want to sleep with your kid," but you can't sleep in the same. I mean, room. if I had to pick between the two, I'd definitely pick Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> No, but this, I mean, is, I this isn't a case of picking between the two. Yeah, it's, it's a case of yeah. you're not picking between anyone. Yeah. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah, that's even sick. like what if, what if your uncle came or someone in your family and he said, "I want to sleep with your kid." Why would you ask that? Yeah, it's kind of mad, mm. isn't it? I mean, it's kind of weird, but it's ma- like I mean, it's not even each to their own type of thing. I just think it's kind of sick, isn't it? Yeah, it, that that's wrong. That is wrong. Yeah. There's no two ways about that. There's not. Yeah, and it, it was just I feel like at the time it was a vague subject because yeah. Like now we have like hindsight in it. Mm-hmm. Now there's Jimmy Savills came out, mm-hmm. R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, yeah. all these lot. So we're like, we see this. Is, okay, all right, this is the pattern. This is gonna happen. Let's d- condemn him already. Yeah. because so, we're used to it. But in like the seventies, people were like sexually harassing people, and nobody was saying no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it was considered normal. I mean, not to kind of be funny or anything, but have we actually all three of us agreed on the same thing for once? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. There's a first so, for everything, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so. Now, after this topic, we're gonna talk, we're gonna play Psycho, Psycho by Post Malone. Yep. So and yeah, we're back. Yeah. So the show's wrapping up now. We've got about three minutes left to talk, and I just thought that we should leave this segment to just introduce ourselves mm-hmm. because we're, we're just giving you all this information and our opinions, and you don't know wh- who we who we are and where we're coming from. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'll start off, and then we'll go to Mohsen and Finn. We'll go this way. Look at Okay. So. My name's Heather and I'm a college student. I'm studying creative media and I'm just like an, a regular 18 year old and I'm just doing this show to build up like my experience in radio shows and I, hopefully I want to go into film. So yeah, but you Mohsin. Yeah, my name's obviously Mohsin, <laughs> as you should know by now. Um, I'm 18. We're all, we're all on the same course. I do creative digital media as well and uh, I'm quite, I'm not the most introvert. I'm not the most... Was it ultra? Is it? Is that yeah. a word? You're uh, quite outspoken. Yeah, outspoken. I'm quite outspoken. Definitely. Um, I'm quite a raw character, is what people like to call me. Because uh, <laughs> thing is, I say how it is, and people say how it might be. So, but yeah, uh, I like to talk a lot as well. That's another <laughs> thing I like to do. I like to get myself out there and let people know what I'm thinking. Not so always because I that's guess what I, this is doing. Yep. Yeah, this is yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just a manifestation and turning thought into fruition. So yeah. What were you thinking? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Finn. I'm a creative media student, as we all are. Yep. And I'm I'm quite a char- I'm, yeah I'm quite a quiet character, bit of a mouthful. But um, 
yeah, I, I want to get my opinion out there, how valid it is. You know, everyone's opinion is valid. I want to share mine, and I really want to... I'm enjoying the radio thing. I'm enjoying creating something for everyone to hear. Yeah, I think you're very selective with energies as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have to have all my energy in on something, otherwise I'm not going to enjoy okay, it. Okay, let's play this game. One word to say about me and Finn, and then we switch it back and then we do right, that. Yeah. We'll have to do this quick. Okay. One word about Finn. Uh, I don't know, funny? <laughs> well, he's a warm character as well, don't it? Yep. Like, he's easily approachable. Okay, so one word. Not physically warm. <laughs> Oh, one, one word, one word. <laughs> um, I'd say wise. All right. So yeah, what about now? Me and you'll do more, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we can go. Strong. Strong-willed is that one word? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, try to pick another one. Exactly. I did about seventeen <sighs> words. Yeah. No. <laughs> Opinionated. Oh, okay. I quite like that one. All right. So yeah. Definitely. Your turn. So you'd have to do me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, selective is one. Quite like selective. I don't know what that means, but okay. Meaning you're selective with your energy. You like to focus on certain things. Cheeky. That sounds weird, that sounds weird but yes, yeah, cheeky. Yes, definitely. I agree. <laughs> so yeah, that was today's uh, Monday Madness. Uh, I said Monday Madness Movie again. Madness. Movie Madness. I always say Monday Madness like even on the first show. So it's a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so you were listening to Movie Madness with Heather, Mawson and Finn. Yup. And I hope you enjoy uh, Tupac's changes. So yeah, we'll be playing that. Peace out, peeps. So yeah, have a good evening, everybody. Afternoons. Um.